and thinking at the population level and this whole problem of immune escape, are there any populations that you think we should still vaccinate with our current vaccines? No. Okay. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And we will see, Matt, uh, I mean, this is maybe, maybe a little bit too far in, in future. But if this, of course, continues, we will see huge changes in, you know, you, 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 you know, probably, or you can, uh, you can guess in which countries, in which continents, people have the best innate immunity. It's, uh, it's certainly not in Europe, right? No, no, no. No, there's some, so, been some astounding results in Africa and places like that. Can I, can exactly. I ask you, yeah, can I ask you about, um, uh, I came across you because of Nikolai, uh, Professor Nikolai Petrovsky, who I interviewed. He's uh -huh. a vaccine creator. He uses yeah, yeah. recombinant protein vaccines. I know, Do you, I know. You know, if he succeeds in bringing out, and, and others as well, bringing out sterilizing immunity vaccines, probably based on recombinant protein methods, will that, fix the problem here is that a potential way out because they're talking about the end of this year having well any it. any vaccine that indeed would enable or induce sterilizing immunity would be a game winner yeah sure but yeah. it's my conviction that it's not possible with the conventional methods because they won't be able to keep up with the mutations now, based on antibodies it's not going to be possible 